Hello friends and welcome back to another virtual story time with Miss Liz. Today I chose a book about playing safely. Many of us are spending a little bit more time outside these days and we might even be going back to some of our favorite spots like the playground. And maybe we need a little reminder and a refresher on how we play safely. So today I picked a book called Please Play Safe, Penguin's Guide to Playground Safety. This book is by Marjorie Coiler and it's illustrated by Will Hillenbrand, another book from Scholastic Publishers. Let's see what's gonna happen. Please Play Safe, Penguin's Guide to Playground Safety. Here are some friends. Looks like they're ready to play. What animals do you see here? Do you know any of their names? I see a chimpanzee, a giraffe, and a rhinoceros. Looks like they're having a good time. All right, are you ready? Here we go. It's time to go to the playground. Now, let's see if this is the right thing to do. When friends go to the playground with Penguin, they should run so fast that they knock each other down. Watch out! Oh, is that right? Should friends run so fast that they knock each other down? Let's see. No, that was wrong. When friends go to the playground with Penguin, they should walk, not run, so that no one gets hurt. That's the right thing to do. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Oh, I want you to tell me if this is the right thing to do. When Elephant plays on the seesaw, he should jump off quickly so his friend bumps into the ground. Fun! Is that right? Should Elephant jump off the seesaw and make his friend fall down? Let's see. No! That's wrong. When Elephant plays on the seesaw, he should stay put until his friend climbs off. Easy does it. Nice job. But what's happening over here? Let's see if this is right. When Chimpanzee plays on the monkey bars, she should grab the rungs and climb up before her friend makes it across. Is that right? Should Chimpanzee start to cross while her friend is not yet finished? Let's see if that's right. No, that's wrong. When Chimpanzee plays on the monkey bars, she should wait until her friend reaches the other side. Whee! That's the right way to take turns. Oh, but something's happening over here. When Bear wants to play on the slide, she should crawl up the front while her friend slides down. Look at me! Is that right? Should Bear climb up the bottom of the slide while her friend Rhino is trying to slide down? I don't know. Nope, that's wrong. When Bear wants to play on the slide, she should climb up the ladder and wait her turn. That's the way to take turns. Uh-oh, something's going on over here. Let's see if this is right. When Hippo wants to play catch with her friend, she should throw the ball at his head, boink! Is that right? Oh, uh, that didn't look very nice. That might even leave a boo-boo. Let's see. No, that's wrong. When Hippo wants to play catch with her friend, she should toss the ball when he is ready, like this. Whoosh, great catch. Hmm, what's going on over here with Pig? Let's see if this is right. When Pig rides his scooter, he should throw his helmet on the ground before he sets off. Boom, here goes. Is that right? Should Pig take his helmet and throw it on the ground? Hmm, no, that's wrong. When Pig rides his scooter, he should wear his helmet in case he has an accident. C, 
see. Oops, I'm all right. We wear our helmets to keep us safe in case we have a little spill. Oh boy, something else is happening over in the sandbox. Let's see if this is right. When Rhino plays in the sandbox with, with his friend, he should kick sand in his face. Kick, kick, kick. Oh, is that right? Should Rhino be kicking sand at his friend? Let's find out. No, that's wrong. When Rhino plays in the sandbox, he should ask his friend to help him dig. Scoop, scoop. That's a lot more fun and safer. Uh-oh, something's going on over here. Let's see if this is right. When Parrot plays tag, she should fly into her friend's face so that she can't see. Flap, flap, flap. Is that right? Should Parrot fly into her friend's face so she can't see? Hmm, I don't know. No, that's wrong. When Parrot plays tag, she should tap her friend gently on the back and say, tag, you're it. That's the way to play safe. Uh-oh, something's going on over here. Let's see if this is right. When Giraffe wants to play with her jump rope, she should use it to trip her friend. Gotcha! Is that right? Should Giraffe use her jump rope to tangle up her friend? Hmm, no, that's wrong. When Giraffe wants to play with her jump rope, she should turn the rope and skip in her own space. Hip, hop, hip, hop. Doesn't that look fun? Uh-oh, something happened over here. Let's see if this is right. When Lion wants to play on the swing, he should run behind his friend and get knocked over. Kapow! Uh Oh, looks like Lion got bumped by Elephant who was on the swing. Is it right for Lion to stand behind their friend while they're swinging? Let's see. No, that was wrong. When Lion wants to play on the swing, he should wait until his friend stops and gets off. Yippee, my turn. That's some good sharing. What's gonna happen next? Oh, looks like it's time to go home. Let's see if this is right. When it's time for friends to go home, they should leave their playthings and their toys behind. Gotta go. Is that right? When it's time for everyone to go home, do they leave all their toys behind? Hmm, no, that's wrong. You wouldn't want to say goodbye to your toys, would you? You gotta clean up after yourself. This is the right thing. When it's time for friends to go home, they should take their play things with them and say, bye-bye. Hippo has the ball, Rhino has the shovels, Giraffe has the jump rope, and Pig has the scooter. Everybody cleaned up their toys. And then they say, let's play again soon, bye-bye. The end. Well, I hope you guys learned a little and were reminded of some tips on how to play safely and be kind to our friends. I hope that many of you are able to get outside and enjoy some fresh air. And if not, there are plenty of fun things that we can still do when we are at home, like draw a picture or write a song or maybe even make something for someone that you love. Mm, that always feels good. It feels good to give something almost as good as it feels to get something. So thank you all for reading with me. I cannot wait to read more books with you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.